dear travelers. I am Lady Twilia Thistlewhistle, plumarian, event planner, socialite, solver of problems big and small, filling in for my dear friend Wing of a Gimbal, famous gnome bard. Wing of a mentioned that we had quite a few new guests and new faces in the audience, and he asked me to help get you all up to speed on our story, Rise of Nolathotep. Now the Rise saga follows our favorite adventurers, the randos who... Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Who are the randos, exactly? Oh, oh my dear, why the randos are the heroes of our story. First of all, there's TK-37, the feisty goblin super soldier with amnesia and an attitude. TK is currently bonded to a sentient magical sword known as the Dark Blade. And Dark Blade is a lot, I'll just say a lot. Oh, but then there's sweet, ruffled young Allura, powerful druid, chosen of the world tree, really just trying their best, and Elora currently shares their consciousness with a childlike Far Realms entity known as Bradley, who's, who's just a peach, really. And then there's the alchemist extraordinaire, Weary the Tiefling, very resourceful and well-meaning, but very blunt. Not the best in social situations, but that is where their lovely husband Trust comes in. Trust is a rune knight and a member of the Order of Magic, and he's kind and capable and tall and handsome and... and oh, oh, I'm sorry, where was I? Oh, but of course, then there is the mysterious and fashionable automata rogue Glyph. They've been sentient for about nine months, and I, I think they're handling having emotions pretty well. They were formerly a butler and an assassin for the Bywood and Bywood Corporation and the Foundry of Steel, but, but that's all in the past. Finally, there is my dear cousin, the newly titled Baron Kratok Prismwing, the simply superb Plumerian bard, former adventurer, certified savior of Plumeria, and currently trying very hard to keep the other randos on track. And that's the party. Oh, but you, you want to know why they're called the Randos? It's because they met by happenstance. They were all traveling separately on a boat when another passenger named Dorvin exploded into a horrible betentacled beast. The Randos dispatched Dorvin, but then learned he was a member of a nefarious group known as the Cult of True Chaos. The cult had collected five masks of power and they were planning on using the masks to plunge the world into, well, chaos. The randos refused to stand for this, and they swore to fight against the cult. Our dear adventurers had to race across the country, hot on the cult's trail. Along the way, they were harried by the cult's minions, followed by mercenaries from TK-37's past, harassed by Glyph's former employers. Oh, and TK fought a meatball demon. Alora was haunted by a moon ghost. Weary became trapped in a time jail with an energy vampire. Kratok had a musical battle with his former best friend. Glyph was worshipped by evil skin goblins. And the entire team wrestled with Bonesaw. And I've barely scratched the surface of their eventful journey. Finally, the randos came face to face with the cult and a great battle ensued. So great I do not have time to recount it. After much struggle, Kratok was able to reforge the mighty Dark Blade, and the party destroyed one of the Masks of Power. Unfortunately, Glyph was sliced in two during the battle, and this caused an explosion that leveled the entire town and obliterated the Randos. It was a very tragic ending. But luckily, our Randos are crafty, and they were able to... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Hello? Mm hmm. A bearded human man in a hooded robe has just handed me a piece of paper. And it says, Catch all of season one of Rise of Nalathotep on the Ballad of the Seven Dice channel on YouTube. What? What is YouTube? Oh, oh, he's gone. And where was I? Oh, yes. After much strife, our randos were able to put themselves back together, but now everyone wanted to know why and how they had exploded an entire city. But of course, the randos were still chasing the cult of true chaos, who still had four masks of power. 
they were able to sneak away before being arrested, and their journey did continue on. And along the way, the party helped the Fey Queen of the Warped Court and helped heal the poisoned warped woods. They defeated a cadre of disgusting, corrupt giants made of worms. They saved the life of a kindly giant spider. They revived the moon spirit that had been haunting Alora, And they learned many deep and troubling secrets about themselves and about the world around them. Eventually, the party tracked the cult down once again to a location known as the Facility. But it was a trap! The randos in the entire facility were transported to the Far Realms. It was a terrible, awful place, and I shan't recount the horrors our poor randos were forced to endure. After many battles, the randos were prepared for the final fight with the cult's leader, Resmia. With their wits, skills, and an industrial amount of bombs, the randos reigned triumphant by blowing themselves up once again. Yes. Another deeply tragic end for our randos. But you see, they were able to revive themselves by... by oh, the, the bearded human man is back. He's handing me another piece of paper, thank you. It says, Seasons 2 and 3 of Rise of Nolathotep, along with videos discussing the lore of the world of Loch Rialta, are also available on the Ballad of the Seven Dice YouTube channel. What a delight! Oh, and he's, he's gone once again. I, I do wish he would stick around and tell me what a YouTube is. Do, do I need a YouTube? I feel like I need a YouTube. On with the story. After the nightmare of the Far Realms, the randos would now have to face their most daunting struggle yet. High society. That's right, the party was summoned to Plumeria, where the country wished to honor Kratok for helping heal a grave sickness known as the Birdsong. During their stay in Plumeria, many enemies from TK Glyph and Kratok's past reared their slimy heads. Alora created, raised, lost, and ate Bradley, their little Far Realms child. They're both fine, it's fine, they're both fine now. Oh, and I had the honor of helping arrange Weary and Trust's wedding. It was very beautiful, honestly, some of my best work. I'm, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. And all the randos were able to sail the gusty, troublesome winds of the courts of Plumeria, and they even befriended one of Glyph's former employers, a one Kyle Bywood, who is, is somewhat difficult to get along with. Um, oh, a fashion genius, though. And our randos were on their way to enjoying a full Plumerian ball and ensuring the country would back them against the cult of true chaos. When, unfortunately, TK-37 was overcome by her former self, Tiffany Klimpfield. In her former life, Tiffany had been a cold-blooded mercenary, and this whole time she had been struggling against TK, hoping to escape. She was also hoping to find her husband, Flint. When Tiffany took over TK's body, she was unable to control TK's void magic, and she began to tear herself and Plumeria apart. In a last-ditch effort to stop her, TK chose to bond with the Dark Blade, merging their consciousnesses, and Tiffany was defeated. Unbeknownst to the Randos, Tiffany's husband, Flint, was in league with the Cult of True Chaos, and he had fused with one of the Masks of Power. Without knowing it, the Randos were heading straight to his lair, where he was waiting for them in an utter rage. He would have his revenge for what they had done to his wife, Tiffany. Flint even kidnapped Weary right from under the Randos' noses. And as it stands, the Randos are lost within Flint's castle in the cloud. And TK-37 has chosen to face off against him alone. Will TK be able to defeat the monster that was once her husband? Will the other Randos be able to get to her in time to help? Will Weary and Trust be reunited? And all the while, the rest of the Cult of True Chaos gathers around the World Tree, preparing to enact the final ceremony that will plunge the world into darkness. And only the randos can stop it. Oh, oh dear listeners, I've worked myself into a tizzy. I'm, I'm so worried. But I do believe in the randos, and I do think they will find a way to stop this cult once and for all. I mean, did I even mention how Alora once turned into a firebird? Or how Weary discovered the secret of immortality? Or how Kratok was the former chosen of the god of creativity? Or how Glyph, once overcome by a mask of power, was able to escape? 
or how TK-37 defeated an entire star spawn. No, listeners, I believe the randos will be triumphant. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. We will all just have to wait and see how the story unfolds. And with that, dear travelers, as Wingover Gimbal would say, I bid you all adieu.